When you go to change the IP address of an Allen Bradley Micro 820 PLC, you're going to run into an error. Let's talk about why and how to fix it. When I go to RS Links and right click the Micro 820 and go to Module Configuration, then Port Configuration, I should be able to change the IP address right here. But when I click Apply and then Yes to Change, that says unexpected communications error has occurred. Now unexpected error, that can mean anything, but here's another advantage of the SIM IPE is I can get the exact error code off of it. On it, if I go to discover device and I select the micro 820 and select replace address, and then I'm just gonna try to change it to 13 and I'm gonna execute a replace. It says write privilege error. And what that means is in the current state of the Micro 820, you can't change the IP address. One, you have to be in program mode. And two, there can be no active connections to it. Now that presents a problem in the Micro 820 because it doesn't have a program switch. So we will have to go into connected components. And I have videos on downloading connected components workbench and going online. And I'll put links to them at the end of the video. If I double click on the Micro 820, then right up here is the Run Program Selector. I'm gonna switch it to Program Mode. And now when I do the Execute Replace, I still get the right privilege error. And the problem is we had active connections from our PowerFlux 525 and our PanelView 800. So even though we've gone to Program Mode, it still remembers those active connections. So if I unplug the Micro 820, and then plug it directly back in. Then when I hit the execute replace, it accepts it. And if we go back out and we hit discover device again, now it's on 13. This is another great example of how we can use the SIM IPE to get additional information. Click here for more information on the SIM IPE.